I want to ask you about one thing that struck me in the judge's ruling on Monday. Uh, she went out of her way to note that, hey, they set up this whole taint team slash filter team, and then still documents got to the frontline investigators, and then they didn't pull those investigators off the case. The idea that the process that the Justice Department assured the judge would work didn't, how do you think that weighs into this as this appeal now goes along an appellate path? Yeah, I think it's a very uh, helpful fact if you're for a special master being appointed. Remember, um, several of the documents that weren't included in, uh, in this search warrant and authorized to be grabbed included the passports, medical records, attorney-client privilege documents, accounting records, potentially tax returns. And, you know, um, to your point, John, uh, it's, the judge noted that this taint team didn't seem very effective at filtering out what wasn't authorized under an otherwise very broad search warrant to start with. Let's remember this uh, search warrant was essentially grab uh, everything that's classified, is marked classified, the containers and anything with it in the containers and anything around it. Uh, so it was, you know, a very broad warrant. And obviously, um, you know, Judge Cannon was not impressed by the taint team's work and just forwarding much of this information on to the investigative team.